Creating drop shadows can give you more depth to your designs. You can also delete a drop shadow that was created from another vector design. Hi, my name is Michael Chow, and in today's tutorial, we will learn how to create and delete drop shadows in Illustrator. Start by selecting the object that you want to add a shadow to, and then go to the menu, Effect, Stylus, Drop Shadow. But before we go any further, make sure you check on the preview on so you can see exactly what you're doing in real time. A pop-up box will appear with a bunch of options, and the first one is to set a custom blend mode. Then we have the X and Y offsets. The X is the horizontal, and Y is the vertical offsets, which allow us to put the shadow in any direction we want by offsetting it. Finally, we have Blur, which controls the level of dispersion that we can apply to a shadow. You can change the color of the drop shadow as well. Click on the swatch and choose a color. Use the sliders or use the color picker to slide over a color. And Darkness, which allows us to control the percentage of black that Illustrator adds to the drop shadow itself. When you're ready, you can click on OK. Now what if you want to remove or delete a drop shadow? Select the object, then go to the menu, window, and appearances. If you hit delete on your keyboard, the whole object will be removed, so don't do this. Instead, in the appearances panel, select the drop shadow, and either drag the shadow to the trash can, or click on the trash can itself. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like it or share it and also tell people about it.